Today we were supposed to go out and do some practice on the water before Saint-Tropez but there's so much wind, it's like blowing 30 to 40 knots there's like 50 centimeters of wave inside the arm also outside it's just crazy, so yeah, no training today Ah, y'a des beaux bateaux là. Je vais faire un tour l'autre jour. Hein. Allez, ça part encore. Allez à fond. To some extent, Saint-Tropez wasn't much different than Cannes. The Mediterranean was being the Mediterranean, one day blowing 35 knots and the following not any breeze. On the boat, it was trim trim trim, tag 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 and drive sometimes. Actually, maybe one big difference for me. As some crew left and new one arrived, I got promoted to the port side head sail trim. This means that I was the one controlling the tuning of the head sails, the jib and the kite when we were on the starboard side and I was operating under the attentive supervision of Frankie. Ludo, explique-nous, c'est quoi le, le, le défi Au-delà d'être habillé n'importe comment Voilà, alors bah, en fait c'est une tradition euh, au voile de saint trope et avant sur la New Largue. C'était que euh, le jeudi, les bateaux ne naviguent pas en régate, mais euh, un bateau peut aller défier un autre bateau. Ah, il faut que décoller un peu les yeux, monsieur. Hein. Aucun problème. Ah, t'as aucun problème <rire> C'est une personne de lunettes, je crois que ça <rire> Ça s'arrête pas, regarde un peu. Ouais, ouais, ça va très bien, ça va très bien. Vous êtes tout bouillant Bien. Et donc, c'est entre propriétaires qui euh, qui s'entendent se, qui sur un parcours. Et généralement, c'est euh, vers un restaurant de plage où après tu mouilles et après tu vas déjeuner et après tu repars pour naviguer. Et là, aujourd'hui, on va faire un départ euh, au lièvre. Ça veut dire quoi ça, un départ au lièvre bah, C'est-à-dire <rire> qu'il n'y a pas de ligne. Il y en a un qui part bâbord à mur, l'autre qui part tribord à mur. Et à un moment donné, le, le, le départ est lancé. Généralement, jusqu'à une, une ligne. Enfin, pas une ligne, mais une plage, quoi. Ouais. Du coup, c'est les proprios qui s'entendent pour faire euh, la bagarre, quoi, mais c'est toujours les mêmes qui winch. D'accord. Exactement. De toute façon, c'est toujours comme ça. Hein. <rire> c'est toujours les mêmes qui winch. Apparemment, ils payent des coups à boire après, donc moi, je veux bien winch. <rire> Ouais, 
absolument pas. Et je suis pas sûr que eux non plus sont très frais. En tout cas, ils sont pas frais, ça c'est sûr. Et ça, c'est grâce à Ludo. Et ouais, il était à 4h du mat, on sort, on prend des coups. C'est pour ça qu'il boit beaucoup de salvéta. Il a déjà fini une bouteille alors qu'on l'a sorti il y a quand même 3 minutes. Hein, en fait. All right, so today we won the challenge and now I'm going to try to find a boat for the middle series. So wish me luck. Okay, so Les Voiles de Saint-Tropez are finished since um, this afternoon. Like we parked the boat and everything this afternoon. The last race was earlier today. And I did not really knew what I wanted to do. I want to do the middle sea race. I might have found a boat to go to Malta, not a boat for the middle sea race yet. And in between, I met with a friend who's a second on a big full carbon fiber uh, sailing boat 25 meters so and he asked me uh, to jump on board for the delivery from Saint-Tropez to Palma so now I'm driving to the next harbor where they based and I'm going to help him with uh, the delivery so it's going to be super nice we should have a bit of wind so it's going to be nice because the, the boat is just a weapon super cool things are uh, aligning pretty well Ah bah ça va mieux que tout à l'heure yesterday night from Saint-Tropez with four people on board uh, the skipper and with three crew and uh, so far so good um, it's a bit frustrating because it's a super nice boat but we're motoring along uh, because it's um, 
you know it's a really expensive road and it's in a regatta mode so the, the sail the, the main sail for the regatta you cannot reef it and um, it would require require to have like two people on, on deck all the time and it, it would be like a really uh, intense so this way it's not such nice say because the boat is a beast but you know it's work so we're doing four one hour on three hours off uh, shift so on watch one hour and three hours to sleep or chill and it's also good we got 30 40 knots uh, overnight and it feels like nothing you know the boat is so big it's 82 foot it's really uh, it's really impressive it's nice anyway the sea is beautiful and it's a bit like windy like this it's interesting also to learn new system on a, on a boat like this that you don't know so it's, uh, it's nice the boat is really really beautiful what a shame we don't have sails on everywhere super nice lines so, yeah all good for more morning it's early we're in Palma the last time I did this passage it took me like five days
it's funny, one year ago I was here with my boat and now I'm going back here with an 80 foot boat. But uh, anyway, dropped it this morning and now I'm just gonna spend a few days here working, doing some admin, some editing because I'm so far behind and then back to France to Marseille to get another boat to get to Malta. I mean, this plan is not confirmed yet. Really hope it's gonna work and yeah, that's it, the road again.